video, I'm going to discuss my opinion about future of international students in Canada. Before I proceed further, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And also I would like to clarify neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, international students or you can say uh, foreign students, whatever, is a very hot topic currently being discussed across Canada everywhere. Especially when we saw what happened in Prince Edward Island, Manitoba, and also in Brampton, uh, demand demands in Brampton. Now it has become like uh, hotter, I would say. Now I'm analyzing certain factors. First of all, beginning this year, we have seen various restrictions towards uh, study permits. Be it allowed number of hours, be it eligibility for spouse open work permit, and be it number of students allowed. So all these are being aimed at reducing international students and of course corresponding spouse open work permit, no doubt. So down the line in future, definitely when we when somebody who is sitting thousands of miles away from Canada and planning to study in Canada is going to consider these factors. I'm not going to say that uh, that all of these are going to be like significant deterrents for applying into Canada. But in my opinion, definitely there will be decrease in the interest. Because now getting a Canadian student visa doesn't mean you will get a work permit for your spouse first. Second, getting a postgraduate work permit that allows you to work doesn't mean you will be getting the privilege to apply for PR. There's no guarantee for it, especially after what's happening here. So these are the factors that are really gonna uh, impact the thought process. But the major deterrent is gonna be the cost. Cost of living in Canada is too high. When I say too high, really it is too high and beyond any kind of control as I, as I see around me. And everyone is impacted. It's not just about international students, everyone. So when things go like that, it will ha have a, a similar impacts to everyone. So what's going to happen then? Then like, uh, and definitely it will be like uh, uh, leading towards re reduction in the number of students coming to Canada and definitely that's the motive of uh, the government to having uh, implemented various measures. So according to me, this according to them, they, this is definitely what they want. But when it comes to future of international students at this moment, at this moment, a lot of them will be worried. Those who are currently studying, I'm talking about them because uh, because like they will uh, they will think that they will be uh, uh, I mean they will be under the worriness or you can say that they will be under constant uh, um, thought process that whether they'll be getting uh, the PR at the end of it now and what should they do now? They, whether they should look for LMIA options, which field they should go. So definitely current international students, those who are enrolled across institutions and have not yet completed their studies, they are going to be uh, worried too, no doubt. So let's see guys, if you have uh, any more co like any questions like this or something, you can definitely uh, we can discuss together and let me know. Thanks for watching.